We all know that smartwatches have taken the world of technology by storm. Today, features on smartwatches are not limited to calling, notification sync, and messaging, but they also offer amazing health monitoring functions like heart rate tracking, calories burnt, and SpO2 monitoring. But the question that arises is, do these features show accurate data, or should we depend on the health data recorded and displayed by the smartwatches? To find out the answers to these questions, today I'm going to test the accuracy of the SpO2 sensor on the Garmin 245M, which is one of the many health tracking features available on the smartwatch. Before I start the pulse ox sensor accuracy test on Garmin Forerunner 245, I would request you to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update on wearable tech. SpO2 sensors are present on the smartwatch's back case and work like an oximeter. These sensors analyze the blood oxygen saturation in the body in real time and update the user with the results. You may have seen oximeters in medical clinics during one of your visits to the hospital. An oximeter is clipped on the tip of the index finger and uses a transmissive method to find out the amount of oxygen carried by the hemoglobin proteins. Smartwatch SpO2 functions the same but uses a different technique that is the reflectance method. To measure blood oxygen saturation levels, SpO2 sensors emit infrared and red light on the wrist tissue and bone. Then, on the basis of reflected and absorbed light, these sensors analyze the information and display the result on the watch's screen. That was a simple explanation of the working of the pulse ox sensor on your Garmin smartwatch. Let's talk about how you'll actually use it on your watch. But before we go about it, make sure you have the SpO2 function enabled on your Garmin Connect app. If it isn't, then follow the steps I'm about to tell you to enable pulse ox function in the watch. Please note that I'm using an iPhone. That's why the screen will be showing the setting up a process for the Garmin Connect app on the iPhone. The steps may vary a little for Android users. First of all, click on the device in the Garmin Connect app. You will see the activity tracking option there. Open it. Pulse Ox shows up on the top. Click on it. There, you will find an option to turn on Pulse Ox sleep tracking. Turn it on. Now you have successfully enabled the SpO2 on the Garmin Connect app, but you also need to enable it on your smartwatch. And if you don't know how you can set up the SpO2 feature on your Garmin Forerunner 245M, then follow these steps. Hold the Up button to open the smartwatch menu. Scroll down the menu with the Down button till Activity Tracking Settings appear. Open the settings. Scroll down the sub-menu of Activity Tracking and you will see Sleep Tracking Pulse Ox. If it is off, then turn it on with the Start button. Now, if you want to measure the SpO2 level on your watch, then scroll through the widgets available on the home screen till the SpO2 widget appears. Wait for a while and stay still. SpO2 will automatically start to measure your blood oxygen level. Now, it is time to find out the accuracy of the SpO2 feature of the Garmin smartwatch. To find out the accuracy, I wore Garmin Forerunner 245 music and at the same time clipped an oximeter on my index finger. I took three different readings on both devices that you're watching on your screen right now. We are testing the watch with an oximeter because it is known to show accurate results. I also changed the oximeter from index finger to digitus medius or middle finger during the test for better observations. After performing three tests, I found out that Garmin smartwatch SpO2 sensors are not 100% accurate as compared to the oximeter. But yes, you can get a vague idea about blood oxygen saturation in your body from your Garmin smartwatch. Also, I advise you to not depend on smartwatch SpO2 results in case of health issues and medical emergencies. One more thing that I want to mention here is, you cannot use the SpO2 feature on the watch when the battery is low. So keep your smartwatch charged in case you want to check your blood oxygen saturation in your body. If you like this video, then check out my other videos on the channel as I like to test the accuracy of features on the smartwatches. For example, check out this fun video I made to test the water resistance on the Amazfit Neo watch, and I'll be leaving the link for the same in the description box below. Also, I will be coming back with a similar water test video of the Garmin Forerunner 245M on this channel. So subscribe to our channel, Wearholic, if you don't want to miss it.
And don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful.